Hey, welcome to Spring Piston Rifle Fever, Bible and Strength. That's right, if you've already subscribed to me, I've changed my name a few different times, but I like the way this one sounds, and I wanted it to stand out from other air rifle um, channels also because most of them deal with PCPs. There's a lot of PCP action out there. But I really like the, the brake barrel thing, and I have uh, one very cool very accurate HW77 under lever spring piston rifle. Uh, Bible verse today is out of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 51 through 52. Apostle Paul is speaking. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. This is the resurrection when the Lord comes, and it's the rapture also. It's both. So it's going to be at the last trump, the Bible says. He says, we shall not all sleep, meaning we shall not all die. We shall all be changed. So in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, boom. Dead in Christ are going to be raised incorruptible. We who are alive and remain are going to be caught up to be with the Lord. So when... The news media says the aliens came and took us away. They didn't take us away. Uh, God took us away. I also wanted to share a little bit of Anthony DiTillo. This is the development of muscular bulk and power. I think this was written back, let's see, I'll find out. This was originally written in, written in 1971. This is old school stuff. And I just want to share one little example bulk and power program that he has here which is not too bad if you have a lot of time on your hand um, I'll read exactly what he has you could always substitute an exercise uh, even sets and reps to make it fit you see if that will focus better with my face out of the way so this is a uh, bulk and power routine number five full squat and these are work sets, so you'd work up to 80 or 90 percent, depending uh, what you're using. Uh, like full squat, 10 sets of three, maximum weight. I would say start out with 85 to 85 percent, because you're going to work up in your weight. 10 sets of three, parallel bar dip, five sets of five to seven reps. You can use the double progression method with that. Weighted chin up. Five sets of five to seven reps, maximum weight. Uh, then Wednesday would be deadlift, bent arm flies, and barbell curl. Personally, I would get rid of bar the bent arm flies and the barbell curl. I would substitute different exercises there. Maybe a pressing movement, overhead press movement, and uh, maybe a wide grip pull-up, medium grip pull-up. Friday has bench press, half squat, and top deadlift. Uh, that's 10 sets of three, and half squats, five sets of five to seven. Deadlift is five sets of five to seven. And you can always change these things up a little bit. It doesn't have to be set in stone like you're saying. I'm doing squats right now, and I'm hoping I can attempt to show you what I'm doing with my back because this is my number one tip that has absolutely helped my squats. And it's contracting the middle of your back, your scapula, as hard as possible. And your trapezius muscle. It's making a shelf right there. I don't know if I can capture this on camera or not, but we'll go for it. I'm just on my warm-up sets right now. So I don't like facing away in the power rack and back and back and forth, but it is what it is. So, let's see, where am I going? Yeah, this will work. So I'm gonna duck underneath, and right now I am squeezing my back together as tight as possible. Right here. I don't know, I don't know if you can see it or not.
do not know how this is going to look on film. Uh, moving up to 185. Find my 25 pound plate wherever I put it. There it is. I don't know why I got it over here. Now, this set will be no fun because I'm going to take my shirt off, and this barbell is going to be cold and sucky. <laughs> Please don't laugh at my fat. Got some muscle. <laughs> yeah, I'm in my undies in here because I'm at home and I can do that. See, I'm flexing as hard as I can back there. Might not look like much. The danger of doing that the shirts going back on I don't like the feel of cold still on my back shirts going back on let's see I don't have to take all those plates that Two tens and a two and a half. That will be my work set. This will be 70% of uh, my work set, or of my top single, which was 330 at the time. This is 230 pounds. Let me see if I can scoot this back a little. See if we can capture a little bit more auction, maybe. Put a pen behind that. That'll help. Now I'm going to face forward. Just I, I don't want to do my work weight uh, with that. So my work weight goal is seven to nine reps. I'm probably only going to do seven. So I, I take a big deep breath. I hold that all the way through. And uh, with that contracted back, that's what helps give me my stability. I don't know how that looked. Hopefully it looked decent. I try to go down under control. And going down and crashing at the bottom is not a good idea. So that's my number one goal uh, or tip, I should say, for squatting. I forgot to mention that I squeeze my butt as hard as possible as long as I can. It's kind of hard to do it the whole way through the repetition, but at the top, I'm squeezing as hard as I can. Uh, I, I even have my hips tucked forward a little bit. 
It helps neutralize my spine and keep me protected. Question, comment, like, subscribe. Definitely give me a subscribe. I'm the old lone wolf strength training. I'm the old spring piston rifle fever. So I'm redoing it here. I don't know how long it will last because I'm not politically correct. Uh, I'll watch, try to watch what I say, but you know what? I'm not going to deny Christ. Uh, question, comment, like, subscribe. You have a great weekend. Workout. Air rifle fun. Barbell fun.